The battle continues between DFS and Loti as DFS is working on amending their complaint against Loti. A complaint that Loti says is just hypothetical as it has yet to be filed. PNC's Jolene Tobes with more. One month ago, DFS legal counsel Jay Srinivasan notified the court that he would be filing an amended complaint against Lotte, seeking to add allegations and a cause for action that arose out of the discovery put forth in the procurement case. Today, they sought guidance from the court on how to file the complaint as the supporting documents obtained from Lotte under the procurement case are subject to the protective order. Srinivasan asked Superior Court Judge Arthur Barcenas for, quote, his blessing, end quote, in filing the complaint under sealed record. However, Judge Barcenas was reluctant to give his blessing as the court does not provide guidance in such instances. The motion to be filed is a motion for leave to amend the complaint. But according to Lotte's legal counsel, Caesar Cabot, the motion is moot as a result of Judge Barcenas's ruling in the procurement case, contending that, quote, all issues that stem from this hypothetical procurement are moot, end quote. He further urged that DFS is, quote, a victim of success, end quote, and that the documents provided in the procurement case were provided under a protective order, which stated that the documents could only be used for the purposes of the procurement case. Cabot now alleges that DFS is attempting to go around the protective order. However, Srinivasan says that is not what they are trying to do. And for DFS, it is, quote, a catch-22, end quote, scenario, as filing could be a violation of the protective order. But they are happy to file it under seal. In any event, a year ago on April 6th, the last order before the court stayed the discovery. The court advised the parties that it was considering hearing the motion to reconsider hearing Loti's motion to dismiss. But that motion would not be heard until after the trial. Cabot urged the court to honor the last order to hear the motion to dismiss, which he believes results in all other motions being moot. Cabot offered suggestions to the court that he believes is logical. The first, to hear the motion to dismiss and dismiss the case without prejudice. Doing this, according to Cabot, would allow DFS to file an appeal and their amended complaint. The second is to stay the case until the Supreme Court rules on the pending appeal. Judge Barcenas, in response, instructed DFS to move forward with filing their motion so that they could see what is filed. Quote, that way we are all on the same page, end quote. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Jolene Tovez.